Hey, Jeff, just for a game to end the way it did, I mean, what's your initial reaction and thoughts to just that terrible. last? It's, it's a god-awful call. It's absolutely terrible officiating. Uh, they should be embarrassed. But, but you know, I'll get my fine, I'm sure. I'll get a letter of reprimand. Uh, but at this point, somebody has to start holding the officials accountable. That call was the worst call I've seen in my 29 years of coaching. If we're going to start calling that, Every foul at the end of a game when a team has to foul is intentional. Every foul is. We all know it is. But to call it in a one-point game with 2.5 seconds left, it's just, it's awful. It's atrocious. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for our league. And, but you'll never, we'll, we'll never hear anything about it because it's such a sacred society that we can't ever reprimand publicly an official, God forbid. But we'll reprimand coaches and players will be called out. But there's three three people out there, God forbid, if we came out and we actually said a league made a statement that it was a blown call, bad call. We we won't do that. Also, just I guess the fourth quarter there, it seemed like Syracuse picked up some steam. I think it was like a 13 to 5 run. Um, what do you guess do you feel like they were doing or just defensively was kind of not working for you guys? No, they they went to the all, all offensive glass. They killed us. If we could have gotten a freaking stop, gotten a rebound, secured a rebound, and then we got careless with the basketball. Um, you know, we only ended up with 14 turnovers, but still we had crucial turnovers. And then we, we've got to get smarter and we keep telling our kids, you got to get smarter at knowing if there's two, six, four kids guarding you, dribble it out. Don't try to shoot through them. And we do that over and over and over, just begging for a foul. Uh, you know, we caused this. I'm not, hey, that, that last call was god awful, terrible. I mean, screw job, uh, horrendous. Whatever you want to say, put, put, uh, go, go, go ahead and put my name beside it. But we also put ourselves in that uh, uh, position. And we executed a couple times, scored on crunch time, did some really nice sideline out of bounds. Right there with five seconds on the clock, boom, O makes a beautiful bucket. And then we can't come up with a stop or a rebound. So we are, are we're at fault also, but it's just so sad that a ball game ends the, the way it just ended. Other thing, obviously, Nyla had another career high tonight or today, um, third double double in the last four games. I guess, how has she just kind of come on over these last games? Or what have you seen from her that's been different over this stretch? Well, she she's so much more confident. She's making 15-foot shots. Uh, you know, she's really doing – has some really good footwork around the basket. She's not just turning and shooting in, into somebody. Uh, she's moving without the ball. Uh, when she gets it, she's creating space for herself. She She's just doing a lot of really, really good things. She's, she's getting better and, and better right in front of us. Did I do this? I'm yeah. Got to make sure I raise my hand. Um, Hi, we've seen, you know, th the problem is these kids watch TV their whole lives and see that foul made like that. And they've played in games their whole lives when that foul is made like that. Is there anything different about this one that you could see that no, that would have caused it? Bad, no, it's bad officiating. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It, it, every foul at the end of the game, kids run up, they grab, put two arms around somebody. Because it's an intentional foul. You're trying to foul. We're trying to foul. Like an intentional foul to me is I take you out. I literally, like you go in for a layup and I undercut you. I come through with a block and I follow through and hit you across the face. Of course it's an intentional foul because we're trying to foul. So every foul is an intentional foul then. Yeah. At the end of a the game, they just need to do two shots, intentional fouls. Because everyone's intentional. It, yeah. It's just, it's, it's mind boggling. There, there was nothing done that was a bodily harm, that she was trying to hurt somebody. She was just fouling her. That's all she was doing. So it's just a foul. But that, that's okay. I mean, that's, I mean, shit. I, we should expect it. I mean, I, I've been doing it for 29 years. Uh, there's, there's, there's nothing that, that, that surprises me. Um, you know, on, on the block shots, I mean, you you talked about that. Is there other stuff you felt like you could have done as far as 
shot fakes or I mean, they don't usually block shots like that, but uh, I guess they're capable and they certainly that was part of it. Well, when, when when you turn and throw it into into somebody's hand, it's going to be a block yeah. shot, and that that's what we did a lot of. It's like our guards dr- dribbled way too deep into the post kid, and then boom, a shot's blocked. Where just one dribble pull up, one dribble jump stop, drop a dime to a post player, uh, things I promise you that we work on every single day. We work on transition layups every day, and we miss three in a row to start the the third quarter where we could have got it up to 15 or 18, uh, but unfortunately we could never get it there because we just couldn't convert a layup. Where do you go? Your team's obviously, everybody, after losing that way, it's tough. you got to rebound very quickly. Um, where do you go with them as far as what do you tell them? You, is it any different than any other loss? No, no. I, I, you know, I told them flat out we got screwed. I mean, that's a terrible call there at the end of the game. Horrendous call. But we did a lot of it to ourselves. We did a lot of it to ourselves. We had two fouls to give with two points, you know. So you you make the correct call there. Their ball sideline out of bounds. Mm-hmm. You throw it in. You got two point five. You take a dribble. We're fouling you again. Now you're going to be at about two seconds, and it's going to be a throw up. If they make it, great. But to end it that way is horrendous. So I just told him. I said, I, I thought we did some selfish things today that I hadn't seen in the past. We took some really bad shots. Um, you know, to, for for Kiki to turn the ball over 18 times is just unacceptable, and she knows it. Uh, and then we have to make open shots. We miss shots. We miss shots. So it's just it is what it is. I mean, golly, you just got to move on. We got a game now on Thursday, and you're rolling up the BC uh, to play a game. I mean, this is one where I, sure we you know we didn't play great that fourth quarter, missed some shots, turned it over, took some poor shots, but it. It got taken from us, you know, at, at least the chance to play it out there with 2.5 seconds. Yeah, you can't even they recover. Yeah, shot. they may have made a shot, but at least make them make a shot because that was horrendous. Yeah. Do you have you noticed your team when it gets a lead? That's when the bad shots tend to maybe come or is it? Is, I mean, when, when we had the lead, I didn't think we took bad shots. We, we no. took some bad shots as they started cutting into the. Lead. Oh. Yeah, you know, like. We had some good looks, Eric, that, that we missed. And give them credit. They, they, they blocked some big shots around the basket. You mm-hmm. know, we, we had a couple really nice passes. I thought, you know, we had a chance to finish and just didn't. Uh, so they're, they're a good basketball team. They're, they're ranked in the top 25 for a reason. Yeah. But I, I think we're a pretty damn good, good team, too. And, you know, I would have surely would have liked to have seen how this game would, would have ended if, if the kids could have played it out. I'm good. One last one for me, Jeff. You guys go two and two against top 25 teams over this last four game stretch. I guess what are your biggest takeaways or what have you learned from this team just moving forward? Well, I mean, we're we're a good basketball team, you know, and I've said that for, from day one. We we can compete with, with with anybody out there. But our but our thing is our, our margin for error is, is, is not real big. You, you, you can't you can't cheat, which we did. We we didn't caboose fair off the one, and she made a great read, and then popped back to the corner, and hit and hit hit a three on us because we we got lazy, and we didn't guard it the way we're supposed to guard it. You know that's what good players do. Good players make basketball reads, and at crunch time we we got lazy, thought 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 we tried to cheat something, and then that's what gets them going. I mean they had a three. They airball, miss a shot, oh, board, we foul them. They, they, they miss the free throw, and then they get, I think, another three. You know, just it's, it's those things that you got to you, – you, when, when you cheat things, you're eventually going to get burnt, and we got burnt at crunch time. All right, I appreciate everyone. Thank you all so much.